In this video, I will show an end-to-end -end demonstration that shows how a utility can leverage location analytics across all departments using the same SAP HANA instance. The first use case is the Situational Awareness Storm Tracker co-developed by Critigen and SAP NS2 as part of a Situational Awareness Engineered Solution. The second use case is a GIS professional using ArcMap to only access the data they need from that instance of SAP HANA using query layers. The third use case is an analyst who uses SAP Lumira to pull a subset of assets out of that same HANA instance and put them on an ArcGIS online map. The first use case is from a disaster preparedness team within the utility using this Storm Tracker app to track the path of a storm they believe will impact part of the service area. So I click on Sandy, since that's the storm we believe may impact the area. And the storm tracks are preloaded, but in production they would be streamed in real time. I pick a time and date when I believe the storm will impact Florida, and in fact it is. And when I click on Florida, a spatial query is being run in HANA across 50 million rows, returning in 3 tenths of a second the five affected counties. If I click on the Summary tab and I go look at company information, and these are all calculated on the fly in HANA, in particular assets, I'll see that there are 451,000 assets of which 3,130 assets may be affected. So what I do now is I'm going to click on St. Lucie County since this county is the one I'm responsible for, and HANA runs that query again in three tenths of a second across 50 million rows, and I see there are 3,130 assets that may be impacted. In particular, I'm responsible for a neighborhood uh, in Fort Pierce, and I click on that, and I see my assets. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact the GIS department to have them create a map that shows possible high-impact areas. In the second use case, I'm the GIS professional who's going to create the map that the disaster preparedness people ask for. I add somebody create a high impact polygon and I can push this polygon into HANA and do the join against the assets there. But what I'm going to do now is create a query layer to pull in only the assets from the HANA instance that I need. And I do that by creating a query layer and I pick the connection, the HANA instance I want. And the HANA instance has returned to me all of the assets or objects I can browse. I pick the uh, spatial assets table and I see there's a location column in here. I can use this to, to double click and build a query, but uh, I have a query that I happen to have cut and pasted. So I'm going to give this uh, query layer a name. And notice I'm performing a within function using a polygon. So only the assets within this polygon will be returned. So I'm no longer bringing back everything. I only bring back specifically what I need. Typically GIS department uh, is siloed off from the transactional system, but with query layers I can get only the data I need out of the transactional system and breaking down those silos in the process. So I click next now that I validated the query. I pick an asset ID, a unique identifier. I see here my spatial reference ID that was used at table creation time in HANA. It's all good. I click finish. Now what's happening is query layers is being used to retrieve only the assets that are within that polygon, and here they are. So these are the same assets that the Storm Tracker application showed. Now what I'm going to do is bring back only the assets that are within this high impact polygon and this join is being done in HANA and there they are. So now that I've created the map that I need, I want to share it with emergency response personnel, utility workers, as well as the public. And I can share that using a map package. And there it is. Now I can push the map package to ArcGIS Online, but all I'm going to do now is bring up the browser logged into the Critigen ArcGIS Online portal and click on my content and I've previously pushed the map up there. I click on the map, and there it is. So now this can be downloaded by anybody, including the analyst who wants to use SAP Lumira to do self-service location analytics. As an analyst, I want to perform some self-service location analytics using the assets in the utilities corporate HANA instance. To do that, I create a new document, 
and I download from the HANA instance, and I connect to it, and what will happen is I'll see a list of views, either calculated or analytical, and I click Create from this view, and what will happen is Lumira will pull that data down and then give me some choices of how I want to visualize it. So now I have an asset ID. Now, in this version of Lumira, I have to convert this asset ID to text so I can create a geographic hierarchy. So I create a duplicate, and then I create the geographic hierarchy off of the text version of the column. And I have my latitude here, my Y. I have my longitude as my X. I go to the uh, subregion level in terms of geographic level, and I click Next. Looks good. I click Finish and I will end up with a geospatial hierarchy. Now that I have a geospatial hierarchy, I can now create my map. I do that by clicking on the geographic charts. I pick a geo map. It's been loaded from ArcGIS online, and now I can plot the points by picking the geo dimension I just created. There it is. And I will pick marker, and then I'll just simply drill down all the way to the asset level. I drill down to the asset level and there are my assets in Fort Pierce, Florida. The same assets the GIS professional viewed with ArcMap and the same assets the disaster preparedness people viewed with the Storm Tracker application. So what you've just seen is how a utility can leverage location analytics across departments breaking down silos by accessing transactional data in SAP HANA.